Hey, welcome to the video. My triathlon journey. So, just come on here once a day and you know let you guys follow me and see what's going on in my life. So today makes the seventh day. So it's gonna be a full week Sunday. Golly. So seven days into the 84 days of training, which is you know 12 weeks. So, here we are. So today was running, which I really love to run, but it, like anybody else, it just takes, it takes me a minute to, you know, jump in and like really feel one with the run, if you will. So, I'll get to that in just a second, but today's run was an hour and a half. Uh, 10 minute pace, so it ended up being about 8 miles. Uh, it was down the beach and back, which was kind of cool. In my opinion, it's a little bit of, I don't know, jumping back and forth to run because you're running, you know, against the ocean and you got the waves coming in and you don't want to get your shoes wet and it's very humid when you run on the beach, so just remember that. Um, but what I'll say about running was the first mile, you're kind of like, ah, you're not feeling it. Mile two is just really smooth. Three, four, five, six is really smooth. Seven, you're kind of like, ah, and then eight, you're almost done. So you're just kind of like, with me, by the time I got done with eight miles, I was on cruise and just, you know, having a good time. So, I had a few people ask me about the shoes I run in. I was talking to one kid from Georgia, and he had no idea about shoes. He's a tennis player. He runs a little bit, he said. And I'm like, dude, you have high arches. He's like, yeah, I don't know anything about that. I said, well, there are certain shoes you're supposed to wear. Me, for instance, I'm in a stability shoe because I have high arches. And I want to talk about that shoe. As you can tell at the beach, the beach run today, See there? Pretty, uh, pretty sandy. And they smell pretty ripe too, because uh, I don't wear socks a lot of times, and I wear features. I love those. I stand by. I don't have a pair to show you, but I'll put it down in the description below. I will also put uh, these tennis shoes down in the description below where you can get them at. So, moving on. So, you know about these? Moving on. That was pretty good. So, you know about these shoes on... They are stability shoes. So as I said before in another video, if you look right here, I think it's this big boy, one of these right here, it, it's a little bit thicker. If you could see it, the angle of the camera, you might not be able to see it. That one sticks out a little bit more. So right here, this is the stability part of the shoe. So when you're running, you don't go in. So that's what I like about on. Now, I've been doing a little reading, a little research, and it's a couple minutes long, but I think it's worth it to know about a product that you're using and wearing and where they came from and, and all that. So here we go. Um, it is on, and it's in Switzerland. From small beginnings in Zurich, Switzerland, uh, on set out in 2010 with a big ambition to change the world of running. In the 10 years since, on has been embraced into the heart's and onto the feet of more than 7 million runners in over 50 countries. Oh my God. And there's no sign of slowing down. Well, that's cool. Three friends, one mission. It's not just a love of running that brought former pro professional athlete Oliver Bernard, the hard, and his friends David Alman and Casper Capetti together. They were dedicated to developing a revolution idea. This is their story. After retiring from a professional competition, three-time world duathlon champion and multiple Ironman winner, Oliver Bernard, did not know that, devoted himself to finding a running shoe that would give him a, the perfect running sensation in doing so. He crossed paths with like-minded Swiss engineer who had an idea for a new kind of running shoe in the years that followed. The perfect symbolism of running experience and engineer expertise allowed 
that the first radical ideal to be refined. Dozens of prototypes were developed, but the basic concept, cushion landing, firm takeoff, remained paramount throughout. It was the unique running sensation that convinced Casper Cupetti and David Allen to aboard to. Together, Bernard, they formally established the ON in Zurich in January 2010. Their mission developed a product range fully engineered in Switzerland using the latest technology, picked up pace. Just a month later in February, the prototypes won the ISPO brand new award. One of the most important prizes for innovation in the sport, test runners were enthusiastic and spoke of the running on clouds. In July 2010, the first running stores had on shoes on the shelves. Today, 10 years later, you can buy on running shoes at over 65,000 premium retail stores in over 50 countries, in addition to its European headquarters in Zurich. On has now opened office in, offices in the US, Japan, Australia, Brazil. On products are winning international design and technology awards and there's no finish line in sight. So it sounds like they're just getting started. So 2010 to 2020, and now it's going to be 2021, so 11 years. So my shoe store is Fitnitch in Lakeland, Florida. I'll put that down in the, the description below also as well. So they ship all over the United States, so you're welcome to jump on there and look at that as well. So I think that's all I got. That was kind of a tongue twister. That was a lot to share, but I'm excited. I'm inspired about new technology. I just stepped onto it. I love it. I keep using on in every sense. It's priceless. I get a kick out of my own videos, but hey, whatever. So I always like to do a TT, a technical tip. I know a lot of the YouTubers and a lot of the athletes don't really have this. So it's something that I feel like I'm trending with the more that I think about it. Um, I hope it's helping somebody. So the technical tip today would be pacing. So I was thinking about it earlier. I just got out of an injury about nine weeks. Um, it's still a little tender, still there. Uh, but definitely with the on shoes that I'm wearing with stability, it's definitely helping. It's just a little more to recover. Um, I have to definitely you know, stretch, um, you know, do different things. Uh, roller is one of them, just a lot of different things. Uh, I use AMP, I'll put that down in, in the description below also. I gotta remember all this, man, I gotta start taking notes on my own videos, but I'm doing pretty good about that. So I'll get that down in the description later for you. So everything will be helpful to you. So my technical tip would be pacing, like I was saying, make sure you pace Set out a pace, warm up, cool down, try to stay with the same pace if you can. Um, if you want to cool down and say you do 10 minutes, you want to do 11, that's fine. But try to be consistent. That's going to help. It's definitely coming off of an injury because you want to just kind of ease back into it. Um, with training though, if you're training kind of heavy, you don't really have good recovery days. Like my Garmin said 3.5 days recovery. I don't have 3.5 days and the scheduled training plan that I got out is what I'm going with, so I can't change it. I'm one week in, I've, I got 11 weeks to go. So I had to stick with it. I have to maybe rotate it, do it early in the morning, and then the following, maybe do late at night, and then just depending on if it's a swim, or if it's a run, or if it's a bike. Usually the run's a little bit heavier as far as being fatigued, and the bike also. Uh, swimming's not, too bad because you can just kind of get in there and you know just cruise and it's there's no impact on swimming so you can uh, you can clean up your uh, recovery pretty quick with with a swim that's not terrible so that was my technical tip make sure you pace and definitely if you're coming off an injury take your time do not push yourself because it'll be just setbacks minor setbacks but it will be a setback so remember have fun and hashtag we get to do this. Hashtag we get to do this. And stay safe. I can't beg you guys enough to stay safe out there. And I will see you on the streets training or I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.